guys. So today it's time to finally wrap up my like fall slash winter stuff. So I haven't done a wrap up in like forever, basically since my September wrap up. And that was because I didn't really read a lot and I felt stupid doing a wrap up for like two or three books. So I let it pile up until the end of December. We have three months on our hands now and it's still not that much, honestly. But still gonna talk about them. I'm gonna try and keep myself short because I don't wanna make a long, long video. I'm going to go in order of that I read them. So probably not gonna have that much to say for some of these because I have read them three months ago. But yeah, go me. The first one is Und und frei by Margarete Stokowski. Uh, it's a German book or it is in German, but she's also German. I mean, what does it mean? It means like free downstairs. Like if you're not wearing pants or, or like anything on your lower half, that's what this means. It's like feminism in a very like understandable and, and approachable way, <laughs> if that makes sense. Interwoven with her um, autobi autobiography essentially. And she talks about a lot of like feminist issues and she talks about all sorts of things. I really, really liked it. She said a lot of really interesting, well thought out things and I really enjoyed it. A friend gave this to me thinking that I would like this and to you I say I did enjoy this. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I think that I would like it because you clearly know me quite well. And yeah, so that was my first read of September. <laughs> I'm such an odd. Oh my god, I am such a nerd. The next one was Parliament and British Politics by, what's his name, Philip Norton. I keep wanting to call him Graham Norton. This is a book about, well, I mean, it, it has what it says on the on the front inside. It's a non-fiction book about British Parliament. This was assigned reading at some point for a class, like parts of this. And I had it on my shelf and I felt bad for having not read enough for that class. So I decided to just read all of it in order to quell that bad feeling of not having read the book. <laughs> so now I've read the book and I've underlined most of the book because it's dense with information about Parliament. I mean, if you want to learn about Parliament, I don't think this is your first. I mean, you can definitely learn a whole lot about it, like the structure and everything. If you want to learn like low key about Parliament, I don't think you need to read this, but if you want to have like some in-depth information about how everything works, then yes, <laughs> go ahead and read this. It's the second edition, I think is from 2015, I wanna say. It is before Brexit or before Brexit was even a thing. I don't know if there's a new edition of it, but there should be, especially because I think there's a chapter about the relation to Europe, so that might need some, some rework. I've already made a review about this, by the way, but um, Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. This was fantastic. It's so funny. It's a wild concept. I said the things I feel about this book already, and if you want to like know my in-depth thoughts about the book, watch the review, I guess. But uh, yeah, no. It's some good stuff. I I don't. I love it. Also, my friend gave this to me, so if you're watching this, shout out to you for making some good decisions for my reading, because this is so good. And I watched the series afterwards, also great. I'm gonna make a separate video about that, or I've made a separate video. I don't know what my schedule is anymore. It's a good time. I don't want to overhype it, but like, please read it. I mean, if you have my sense of humor, I guess, read it. My reading is like all over the place already. So this is the third non-fiction book, but I think the rest is all fiction. So very inconsistent of me. The next one is Permanent Record by Edward Snowden. The beginning was a bit slow and I was afraid I wasn't gonna like it. I'm gonna be fully honest. It sounded a bit pretentious at the beginning to me. So I was a bit apprehensive and I didn't agree with everything he said in this book but it was so impressive. It was also really interesting because you know what everything he writes about culminates in, because it was <laughs> him being in Hong Kong and then him fleeing to Russia unintentionally was very public 
and it's really interesting to a see his side and also to see everything building up to that which is also interesting because i don't know if you usually have like that much adrenaline <laughs> while reading a memoir is it memoir or is it autobiography i don't know my genres he also explains a couple things which is really interesting so i made like some mark markings in the book where he explains a certain thing in like layman's terms which is really interesting because it's like helpful to understand what he's talking about but also like leaves you feeling like you've learned a bit and you're a bit in on everything now i learned a lot about data security and privacy and all of that but it was just really really cool to read about it from his perspective and to learn all these things and yeah and if you struggle with the beginning i would say it gets better because yeah, again, for me it was a bit boring and then it got better, so. Apologies if the frame has changed. That wasn't intentional, I kicked my tripod. <sighs> my life is so hard. Anyway, the next book I read was an absolutely remarkable thing. Well, Ein wirklich erstaunliches Ding in German by Hank Green. And it's a sci-fi, like new adult story. I'm reading so much bisexual representation these days, it's so good. I can get used to that. If I remember correctly, I found this quite funny. I definitely found it really interesting to think about fame, especially because Hank Green is, like, he knows about it to some degree, you know? I like the, the characters or, you know, the relationships they had with each other. I Why do I not remember enough about this book? Oh my god, I know that I liked it. It was really cool. And I was really upset at the end when I realized it was the first part of two <laughs> and I wasn't gonna read the second part anytime soon. And then I checked and like literally three day days before I finished this book, Hank Green had uploaded a video announcing the second of this duology. And I was very happy and very pleased about that. So um, I think it comes out in like July? I don't know, but I'm gonna probably pre-order it so that I can make sure that my editions definitely do not match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it in English and I'm gonna have a German and English edition and paperback and hardcover, it's gonna be great. I like the concept and like the scientific aspects of it. I don't wanna spoil it. So if you've read the book, you know probably what I'm talking about, but like everything that comes with the aliens, like I, so clever and so intriguing, it's good. Yeah, no, I, I, I enjoyed this. Especially considering it's like his first novel, dude. Good job. The next one I already talked about in my unhaul slash whatever that video was. I was about to swear and then I decided I'm kid friendly. I'm not. Whatever the fuck that was. This is Mitternachtswanderin by Carol Snow. Mitternachtswanderin, by the way, means Midnight Walker. As young adults, it's um, sort of coming of age type thing. Yeah, it's sort of supernatural. I'm gonna unhaul this book after this video because I've read it and it was good, but I don't want to reread it. So yeah, um, that's that's that on that. I don't have much to say about it honestly. It's just a you know fun YA story in like interweaving supernatural stuff with like teen rom-com stuff <laughs> and it's just yeah I mean the premise of it is funny because it's basically about a girl who when she comes in co into contact with electricity she switches into other people's bodies and she gets stuck in a body and she has this crush and yeah it's very YA -y. not bad at all but yeah just that. The next book I read was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and holy shit it was so good. You have a black family that supports each other. You have all these black characters that are like fully fleshed people in the center of a story which is really cool. Obviously it's talking about um I, I don't think I have to explain the promise the premise of it but I'm gonna do that anyway. So it's about this girl, I forgot her age, which is already helpful. I think she's 17. So um, she loses her childhood best friend when they get stopped by the police and a cop shoots her friend. 
for thinking he is armed. And she has to grapple with that. She goes to school in a white neighborhood and she sort of, you know, it's about her sort of code switching between her school and her neighborhood and about standing up for what you believe in and using your voice, finding your voice. Dude, I mean, it's heavy. I nearly cried at the bus stop when I read it, but it was really good. And if you haven't read it for whatever reason, um, please do. Especially if you're American. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Morgan by Nils Mohl. Again, I love this cover. I've mentioned it before. Yeah, it's about a boy who's moved neighborhoods and it ends up happening that he and his friends go to a party and he's dressed as a girl. I mean, there is an omission that he has to accomplish necessarily except for being a girl until it's 12. But then things happen. It's definitely very YA -y. It's a YA contemporary, again, coming of age. The main character is 15. I don't know what to think about this idea of him dressing as a, up as a woman because there's definitely some jokes where I'm like, I really don't know what to say about it. It was okay. Um, I don't want to read it again, but... So... My second light went off. I'm gonna take that as a sign to shut up <laughs> and finish this video. Those were all the books I read in October, November and December. It wasn't that many, but I also read my uni work at the same time, sort of. So we're gonna count it as like a good time, probably. Yeah, no, worse. So also there were a bunch of bo big books or books that took me a long while to complete. So it's fine. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this wrap up. If you want to talk to me about any of these books, tell me what you think of them or if there's any that you're interested in now that I've told you about them, then let me know. I'm curious to know. And otherwise, I'm going to see you next week. Bye!